I really enjoyed the Taiko music video. Um, that was done last year, about this time. And um, I knew Scott, the artist, from a design conference in Amsterdam. I met him. Um, we both live in the same city. And um, his record label, Ghostly, approached me. It's a very small budget, like incredibly small budget. Um, and I think the reason why I loved the project so much is that it felt very, it felt like a student project in a lot of ways. Um, you know, we raised ample amount of money to go out into the woods and shoot for four days and then shoot the band and then shoot in the studio as well. So we actually shot, we actually shot more than the Prids video um, for like less than a third of the budget. I still don't understand how, but that's a way, that's a different interview. Um, and I think the thing that felt so good about the Tycho project was just, um, it was just a bunch of, it was like eight of us going into the woods and camping together and waking up every day to go shoot, but just for the love. No one was getting paid. Um, it just felt like I was back in school and it was really fun and um, learned a lot on that project in terms of just having expectations of when it was released. I had some expectations about the first video and um, I learned a lot from that. I, I, I've learned that with your work you should never have expectations. You put everything you can into it, and then you complete it and you release it. And with no expectations comes no disappointment, you know? So um, I think that's a really valuable lesson because you put so much into the work. Um, but if you're detached from it, from detached from those expectations, then anything that's received from it will feel really good. I, I had high expectations for the music video, and I thought it was going to lead to this and that. And, um, a lot of the, you know, I never really read comments or anything, but a lot of the, um, there were some comments about the, the, just some of the components of the video. Um, and so I actually did a recut of it, um, which is kind of the, the best elements based on feedback and had no expectations with that recut and the recut did incredibly well. And, um, you know, I just, I just learned that, um, you should just be a little bit more detached from your work when you release it, you know, and so um, it was a really big learning experience. It was super fun. It was one of the most fun projects I've ever done just because of the vibe, you know, the, the energy that we all put into it was really, really great. Shot in my, one of my favorite parts of the world in, in the Big Basin National Forest in Northern California. That was really great. Uh, great actors, great, great people, um, really fun camera techniques and, um, and props and um, practical effects and the way we shot the band was really inspiring with the connect and the infrared photography and shot with full spectrum cameras. This is a really rich project. It had a lot of different styles and aesthetics that we were really excited about. I still dream about, I still dream in full spectrum sometimes, which is really fun. Um, you know, so I don't know. It was, it was a really, it's a really good project, really, really rich. And um, it was nice to work with Ghostly. It was nice to work with such a talented musician such as Tycho. And Scott Hansen, such a great guy, and um, yeah, it was a really great project. Yeah, I mean, we just shot with a full spectrum camera, so a modified Epic. Um, so it shot in, in ultraviolet and, and infrared. So we shot in infrared for the band and used the Connect to emit uh, infrared dots over the band and kind of had a laser in the background. And so when you shoot it, it's pitch black, but when you see it, what the camera captures is all these dots. It actually looks like a projection in a way, but it's just a, a million dots and you can kind of rack focus through that space and it kind of becomes this ca constellation and really weird moiré patterns and really unique aesthetic, really cool. Um, and then the full spectrum, the ultra, ultraviolet we brought into the woods and shot the beach and the, and the trees and the, the bushes and the plains and crazy palettes, like crazy color palettes and um, in working with a colorist in London, we're able to just pull out really weird really weird palettes, kind of, kind of just something I've never done before. Um, really inspiring. And a lot of people do um, full spectrum photography as stills. So this is the first time, I think maybe a couple other people have done it, but it was the first time that someone really pushed that aesthetic, you know, and, and really pushed the grade. A lot of people will shoot full spectrum, just leave it purple, you know, but we, we really isolated different, different values and really push those color palettes to make really crazy looking images and that was really fun and then we weave that into a narrative about um, basically she wakes up in the forest and sees full spectrum 
and in that world of full spectrum, there's, a, there's other characters that she sees, but only she can see. So when we see her being you know, held up by this man, there's no one there, but when we look through her eyes, we see that there's this dark wizard you know, wearing this black cloak, cloak and this big beard. And um, that was kind of a fun narrative to play with. And um, you know, I'm not much of a narrative director in a lot of ways. I'm much more of a designer who likes live action as a medium, but it was very challenging and, and very rewarding to play in the narrative space, and I've been doing that more often now. Um, although I'm not really one who's going to like want to make a feature film with dialogue or a huge layered story. I'm more into like short films and small, little, very abstract narratives. You know, it's more inspiring and it's, it's a lot easier where I can just focus on the design and, and focus on the things that I pre would prefer to focus on. I don't have an ego in that sense where I think that doing a feature film is more mighty, you know? I don't really care, like I don't really need to do that, um, nor do I really want to do that, so um, I'm just more into the, into the craft, into the craft of cinematography and collaborating with really talented cinematographers and always trying to, you know, push that.